Welcome back to For Your Child's Health. We have been talking with Dr. Curtis Augusti. He's a neurosurgeon and Dr. Bryant Toth, co-director of the Cranial Facial Department at Children's Hospital Oakland. And remember, of course, any advice we've been giving you today, you're certainly going to want to check with your own physician for a second opinion. We met little Roman, and his mom mentioned that he, he will probably have to undergo some kind of dental work or surgery as he gets older. That, that, that kind of brings in the fact that really you're, you're not just dealing with one thing here. And, and talk to me about that again. In cleft lip and palate, someone like myself, a plastic surgeon, deals with the cleft of the lip and cleft of the palate. But you must remember that in addition to this, there are a variety of other problems. And the beauty of what we've created at Children's is a is a group of specialists, a multidisciplinary group that meets on a regular basis. Most people, as a gift from their heart, because they love to deal with these particular problems, we meet together and treat those issues. And yes, every child that has a complete cleft of the lip and palate has dental related issues. They have a little cleft in their gum line. An oral surgeon, for example, will need to fill that. They will need pediatric dentistry to keep the hygiene of their teeth. They also will need orthodontia uh, yeah. in the future. They have hearing related issues potentially, so the otolaryngologist needs to be involved. The speech therapist needs to be involved so that they need to be able to learn how to use the palate appropriately. Okay, we, we have a very short amount of time. I, I'm just kind of curious because with what you two are dealing with, at least what we've seen on this program, a lot of congenital uh, problems. Uh, do you ever get kids that come in and say that it, it, it happened after the fact, say a terrible accident, or what, what, what are you actually dealing with? You're more challenging. Yeah, sure. I, I think, um, again, uh, Brian was touching on the beauty of having a practice like this is that we, we can work together. Um, if a child comes in, especially to a place like Children's Hospital Oakland, where it is a level one trauma center for kids, um, and they have complex uh, lacerations or fractures of the face and the skull, um, that's the case that, that Brian and I would work together very closely to, again, um, make sure that we, we have the optimal outcome um, for the kids. Um, um, and and uh, you know, I think um, it's it's a benefit to, to to have so many different opinions to work together um, in a place like Oakland. So, well, we're yeah. obviously very fortunate to have uh, people of your caliber working in the Bay Area. Thank you so much uh, both for joining us uh, this morning. And unfortunately, that's all we have time for today. Thank you both, doctors, uh, for joining us and for the work that you do in trying to keep our children well and to give parents a greater peace of mind. Uh, for more information or to support Children's Hospital Oakland, go to childrenshospitaloakland.org or call five. 510-428-3043. Thank you so much for joining us today on For Your Child's Health. This program is paid for by Children's Hospital Oakland, who shares Cronfor's commitment to children's health.